Hey, what's going on Fit Family? So it's Coach Brian. Today's video, we're going to cover a topic. I think it's pretty pertinent to folks that have been struggling for a while. If you've been yo-yo dieting, if you've been dieting for a long period of time, if you've been killing yourself in the gym, if you've been overly focused on weight and food and macros and nutrition, there is a way we can get into an unhealthy relationship with those things. And in the end, there could be something psychological and emotional keeping us from hitting that final goal. There's that one thing in our health and fitness journey that we just say, oh man, if I could just hit that number on the scale, if, if I could just reach that percentage of body fat, if I could just fit into those, those genes, I'd be happy. I mean, it's just that one thing. And we all have that number and it always seems to be just out of reach. The weird thing is there might be something emotionally holding us back from hitting that goal. In this video, we're going to talk about a healthy and an unhealthy relationship with food. A lot of us have them. It can be influenced by culture. It can be just family tradition. It can be emotional. But we do have these things that we carry around that kind of dictate the foods that we will and won't let go of or introduce into our lives. And that emotional bond can turn kind of negative if we don't kind of check it and keep it in place. So we're going to cover this in this video, how to have a healthy relationship with food. Give it a second and see if you can kind of find those little pockets in your life for those opportunities where certain types of food are non-negotiable. They're just non-starters. And if that sounds like something that's in your life, we might need to take a look at them and see if we can break the hold that they have on us. And then you're going to probably find that they might be the one thing that's keeping us from hitting those ultimate goals. The ones that we know we can get, but they're just always a little bit out of reach. So hold on a second, guys. Let's get to it. Hey, what's going on, guys? Coach Brian again. We're going to talk about healthy relationships with food. Um, if you're like me, at some point in your life, you may have realized, I don't have such a great relationship with this thing or this food. Um, typically, it's that one thing we overindulge in more often than not. For, for me, it's cookies. Um, when we associate food, taste is one of the strongest um, senses, and we can easily go back to a time when I taste something and it reminds me of my childhood. Um, like I said, cookies is mine, so once I go there, you know, it's, it's game on. Now, if you've ever kind of looked at your behaviors and the trends that kind of play out when you're in certain environments, you recognize that my relationship with food might not be great in certain circumstances. If I'm having a real hard time keeping weight off, if food has kind of betrayed me, even if I think I eat on point most of the time, um, identifying the healthy relationship with food or identifying if you don't have one, this is a critical piece to the growth track here within this program. Um, so one, let's look at what food is uh, in a big picture. We, we mourn with it. We party with it. Um, it's comfort for us when times are good, times are bad. Um, and then obviously we have the biological requirement for energy, right, to survive. Now, of all those things, if you end up in the, the right environment, uh, the conditions are right outside, you've got good friends, most of the people don't like to change the relationship with food and their friends in that moment because the food is a mental driver towards, I'm going to have a good time here. And alcohol plays into it as well. So... You're, if you're struggling with food, and if there's one vice or you've got that one thing that you know it's like, hey, when, when the cookies come out, I know I might be in trouble. But if it's a lot of things and it's just the environment and building in that um, emotional connection with everybody with food, um, the big trick here is to identify it and kind of detach a little bit. So obviously, f food for life, we need that. But we've been gifted with senses and tastes and it, it makes eating enjoyable. But what most people don't look at, if you've kind of looked around in restaurants, when we talk about the, the weight problem that we have in the country, it's going out to eat. I don't, this is something that maybe I just do, but when you go out, you can see the people um, that may or may not have healthy relationship with food. And you can start to recognize where the majority of the people are struggling and the minority of the people are kind of living that healthy lifestyle. Now, food is the number one socially accepted addictive personality trait. Everybody's cool with it. So if you go to a restaurant, you're not typically going to hear somebody say, you know, that piece of cake's got 1,500 calories in it, right? Um, they're just like, yeah, go for it. Everything's great. But your goals and your um, motivations for doing this program, your motivations for feeling great about yourself and kind of developing that completeness, feel great, sleep great, look great, move great, um, your goals don't always jive with some social settings and doesn't, may not jive with our relationships with food. 
So there's no real homework here except to identify it. Is there something that you grew up with? Is there something that you go to or lean on during times of stress? Um, knowing that those are there and then kind of falling back on that, setting yourself up for success. If you know that you get stressed out every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday because of some work call, some conference, you know if you go home and there's a bottle of wine and chips and salsa in the house, don't take the, get those out of the house because um, you know that your relationship with those particular foods is uncontrollable. So hopefully this makes sense. And again, there's not a lot of homework here except to identify it and to see if you're able to kind of call out those pieces that have more control over you than you have over them. So um, good luck. This is kind of a, a cool exercise just to kind of play into the emotional side of food and uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of awareness can come out of it. So good luck with this, guys. I can't wait to hear about it.